What phase of construction are you in for UConn Striker? So the, the construction's been going on since January of this year. Um, so lots, a lot has happened. The track itself is probably 80 to 85% done, and we're hoping to wrap that up at the end of the month. Um, but we, all, we have lots to come still. We still need to do a lot of electrical work, plus we're going to be building up the station, putting up the steel. Currently, right now, um, we're running the uh, electrical conduit to the power center in the station. But we've got to build out the queue lines, we've got to um, erect a few more buildings, and we have um, a lot of testing to happen. The, the trains themselves are arriving early next year, and so those are going to go on the track. We have to install the uh, lift hill chain, so that's going in early next year, and uh, tons of testing to be done. So our water dummies are going to be taking the first rides, hundreds of cycles, and we're going to be testing every aspect of coaster and um, simulating different kinds of errors and situations so that we make sure the ride responds properly. And we're looking to open the public in April 2019. Alrighty, so we have an awesome construction update for you guys today. I've packed in Canada's Wonderland's own footage into the construction update um, to help give you guys a better idea of what's going on inside the park. So Grace Peacock at Canada's Wonderland Director of Communications has given me permission to use their footage over the winter in our updates to give you guys a better understanding of what's going on and so you guys can see the completion of Yukon Striker. Um, so as you can see, Yukon Striker is in its fourth inversion now, the final implement heading back towards the mid-course break run. Um, and as of today, uh, they're heading back towards there. So you know from our previous update, they've connected that helix. So the helix is connected to the final break run. So about more than three quarters of the ride is complete. I would say we're at like 90, 95%, maybe like 92%. Somewhere along those lines, we are um, at for Yukon Striker. Um, and it looks absolutely stunning. As you saw at the beginning of this video, um, there are hardly any track pieces and support columns left in the storage area. Yukon Striker is that close to completion. I don't know if they're gonna be done by this Friday. Um, I think the goal was to be done by this Friday, but I think now they're gonna aim for next Friday, like just after Christmas, they might come back in for like one or two days and complete it. Um, but I have a feeling the Immelman towards the mid course, or the yeah, the Immelman towards the mid course break run will be done by this Friday. But then they have the vertical loop. But that's not it for these workers as well. They still have the chain lift to install, um, and so they're gonna need that big crane because I do remember they use a crane, um, from what I remember, to install the chain. I think they use a crane to pull the chain lift up through the the chasis of the uh, the lift hill. Again, I don't know proper terminology all the time for construction projects and roller coasters. So feel free to correct me down below um, and help me learn along the way. But here are some awesome shots from inside the park from a video update that Grace posted or Canada's Wonderland posted. So as you can see, that little mine shaft is looking awesome. I don't think there's any plans to cover it at the moment. They are hard at work for the queue line for the station. So as you know, the final bit of the queue line passes under the turn out of the station and heads up the stairs towards the entrance. And then you got a bunch of switchbacks that head on over to the Helix area. They have the steel frame for the station to put up, so I believe the foundation for that is done. There is some nice themed rock down there as well. The Helix looks absolutely awesome. You guys already know that from a HD picture the park submitted, but here it is anyways, up close from that video the park posted. Um, and here's that fourth inversion heading back towards the mid-course break run. This picture right here is from today, um, and you get a good shot of that Mineshaft. Here's a photo from Craiga. So Craiga has been doing an absolutely amazing job helping me out covering this project. Um, I have a huge surprise for Craiga in the new year. I am not going to announce it to him yet. He has no idea what it is, but let me tell you, it's epic and it's my way of thanking him for the amount of help he's given me. Um, when I first met Craiga, Craiga was um, kind of like general public. He was really interested in coasters and you could tell the drive was there, but he was afraid to ride Leviathan and Behemoth, but he conquered that this year, and he is more interested in Yukon Striker than I am. 
this guy literally flies his drone every day um, to help the channel, but out of pure curiosity for himself as well. He is always curious about what's going on with Yukon Striker, and that's why he is now on the Amusement Insiders team, as there is so much passion and desire for Canada's Wonderland and roller coasters in general that I just had to bring him onto the team. So a huge thank you to Krega, um, and there's a huge surprise coming for you in the New Year. Hopefully you're excited for that. Um, but yes, in terms of the construction update, again, all that land clearing next to Mindbuster, not sure what it was for. Um, they've dug up a bit of the queue line for, um, I always forget its name because I never ride it, Backlot Stunt Coaster. They dug up a bit of the queue line down there as well, um, and they got it blocked off with some caution tape as well. So that's a little interesting. Again, I'm probably, I'm guessing it's probably electrical and they're connecting the electrical from Yukon Striker over there, or they're upgrading their electrical because again, there might be a lot of projects happening in this area, whether it be for the water park, mine buster, or future upgrades to Frontier Canada, they probably need to upgrade their electrical. There's been an electrical, com electrical company on property at Canada's Wonderland for almost the entire season now. Um, so that's interesting. I'm trying to see if there's anything else interesting. So you already know they're working on the station area, the queue line, they're finishing the fourth inversion, the Immelman, they have to do the vertical loop still. Vertical loops are very easy to build from what I understand. Once the support structure's up, it's almost like one, two, three, four, done. Um, and this next little bit is also pretty easy as well as it's lower to the ground. So we should be seeing Yukon Striker completed very shortly again. I'm still gonna keep my prediction that I've said all along Friday, this Friday it should be complete, but the vertical loop may need to be finished next week on a one or two day project. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this quick yet very informative and picture um, update from inside the park. So a huge thank you to Canada's Wonderland, Grace Peacock and Craiga for helping me do these updates. Um, there'll be lots more updates coming in the new year. Trust me, you should all be very excited for what's coming in the new year. Um, and uh, yeah, just thanks for watching my channel guys and being a part of this journey. We have a lot more content coming from North America and Europe with our influencer program and a lot more construction updates from Six Flags Parks and non Six Flags Parks as we get on the media list for a lot of other parks. So we have construction tours coming up for other parks as well. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy. Bye.